Okay, food students, so this week we are going to be making either apple crisp or fruit pizza, and so I have everything kind of ready. Today I've turned the burner on correctly, and I'm melting two tablespoons of butter because we'll saute the apples to kind of get them nice and caramely yummy. Um, did my mise en place in the bowl, so I have the sugar, salt, brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and flour in there. And so in that bowl, you're just going to whisk that up to combine. You're going to add your apples to this bowl once they're all cut up and ready to go. So we'll whisk that together. Maybe the brown sugar is getting a little stiff. Okay, so just whisk it together so it's all kind of combined. Um, also for the apples, you're going to do um, heavy cream and a little bit of vanilla. And so I just put that in a liquid measuring cup and swirl it together so that it's all combined, but you'll need that in just a minute. And then in a smaller metal bowl, I have a tablespoon of butter, sugar, and flour ready to go to make the streusel topping. Okay. Um, I have an extra metal bowl here because I'm going to start peeling the apples. This is probably the most time consuming part of making these. And so you're just going to run around the edges of the apple and take the peel off. You will learn in your reading that um, with eating fruits and vegetables, it's more nutritious if you leave the apple peels on, but we're cooking them in cinnamon, sugar, and butter, and so I really don't know, um, you know, if the apple peels would make a difference, <laughs> so I'm just going to... Like normal, I have a damp towel so that I'm not sliding and cutting myself, um, Again, I'm always trying to get you to remember, wrap your pinky ring and middle finger around the handle and then pinch the blade with your pointer and your thumb on the back side. Sorry, that's hard to turn. Um, tip of the knife on the cutting board and I'm just going to core around the apple. So I'm just going to cut the four sides off. Try not to get those seeds in there. So then you just have one little rectangle core with those apples. It depends how big that you want them. Um, you can make them larger chunks, smaller chunks, trying to get all of the same even pieces because the more even the pieces are, the more evenly they will cook in the butter. Okay, so I'm just going to make pieces around that size, about a half of an inch-ish. So um, just trying to do that. apples cut. Um, they're all about the same size pieces. They don't have to be perfect, but I like them to be pretty similar. Um, so into that brown sugar kind of mixture that we tossed together, I'm just going to throw the apples in there. Lost one. Okay. Um, I'm going to use the rubber spatula and just kind of coat those around. All of this is going to go into the saute pan with the butter. And so the butter is nice and melted. You can really smell it. And um, that's what you want. You want a nice hot pan to cook these apples for about five-ish minutes. Um, we'll do that. You just really want to soften the apples. So, got my apples all coated. I'm going to toss those into the hot pan. And then just stir them around for a couple, about five minutes. Okay, so now you can see that the apples are kind of losing some juices, and that's what you really want. Um, it's not getting them too softened because we're going to bake them in the oven anyway. So I have my prepared 9 by or 8 by 8 pan 
And so I'm just going to pour the apples in there. You want all of that kind of caramel. Bowl. So I have my sugar, flour, and butter in there, and so I'm just going to use a fork and push these together. You don't want to completely like cream them. We're basically cutting in, if you remember that word from our um, vocabulary, that long test that I made you take. Um, I know you weren't fans, but just cutting that in. But it's just kind of clumpy and chunky, so that's what we kind of want. On top of your apples, you will just sprinkle that on there. Make sure it gets all of the edges. And then we'll put this in a pretty hot oven for um, 40 minutes. I'll check it and then get back to you. Okay, so the apple crisp just came out of the oven. Um, it's great to eat hot. If you have like a nice scoop of ice cream, put it right on top. It's super delicious. So let me know what you think of this one. It's one of my family's 